Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a fun card using the Most Adored Designer Series paper. This is a specialty paper. It is a free celebration item. So whenever you place an order of $50 or more, this could be one of your choices. Well, not could be. It is one of your choices, but this could be yours if you choose. We're also going to be using the Watercolor Melon stamp set, which is another celebration item free with a $50 order if you choose to get this one. And we're going to be pairing it with the Sweetest Cherry stamp set that can be found in the annual catalog, okay? Before we get started on our project, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. First off, we have our February Paper Pumpkin Kit, Sweet Springtime. It makes nine projects. But Early Express was the ink spot, and it comes in a seasonal box, okay? We have an add-on of the Love of Spring dies. It's $12 for four dies. This 164396 is the ordering number. There is a link in the description box below if you want to subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin Kit. I would greatly appreciate it. Next up, we have our mystery boxes. These are the medium flat rate USPS boxes that I have stuffed full of retired Stamp It Up products. Some are new, some are used but it's all for you. I'm only asking $25 for each box. That does include the shipping. I can only ship in the USA. Now, if you're interested, go ahead and email me at stampwithshauna at gmail.com, or you can go ahead and send your payment over to PayPal to that same email address, and I'll know how many boxes you want by how much money you send, okay? Lastly, we have our January host code. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stamp It Up. And we are having celebration going on. So again, for every $50 that you spend, you have a brochure full of products that you can choose from for free. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We have a basic red card base here, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're just burnishing that score line down. I've gone ahead and completed the inside of our card. I stamped sweet birthday wishes with a little watermelon and a seed and then put some designer paper, designer series paper at the bottom. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that glued into our card. It's on basic white that is three and a half by four and three quarters. Okay, so we have that done. Next, we are going to do a little stamping. We are going to stamp a sentiment. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna glue. We're not stamping yet. <laughs> we're gonna glue our designer series paper. I have a three by three designer series paper square here. This paper has um, gold and white on one side, the gold foiling, and then red and flirty flamingo and white on the opposite side. So we're gonna use the flirty flamingo side of this one. We're gonna layer this onto a basic white square of three and an eighth by three and an eighth. This card design, the layout, was inspired by Julie Davison. I did make some changes to mine, but I got the initial design from her. So here's another sheet of that paper. We're gonna be using the red side instead of the gold this one and these two patterns are the same. One is just in flirty flamingo and the other is in gold foil. And this designer series paper is, um, what is this one? This one is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and we're layering it on a two by four basic white. Okay. Oh, can you hold please? I forgot to get paper to stamp. Okay, so I have our paper here. We're gonna do some stamping now. So I have some old olive and I'm going to get our watermelon here. And we're gonna stamp this, whoop, stamp this down right there. That is so cute. And then we're gonna get another piece of paper because I thought that was gonna be big enough. Oh, I think I thought I got that one. Okay, what am I doing? We're going to get the rind for a slice of watermelon. I'm gonna put that there. I think that's all we need for the old olive. 
And then I'm going to take some flirty flamingo. And we're going to stamp a slice of watermelon. And flirty flamingo. I think I went over too far. Let's do that again. Because we want it to look right. <laughs> we want it to be cute. So let's get our rind back here. And this time, let's not go over too far. Okay. So now I'm going to get some seeds. <laughs> I forgot to take them out. There is a seed stamp. And we're going to get some early espresso and stamp our seeds in here. Just like that. Okay. And I think I'm going to stamp our sentiment in early espresso. So let's go ahead. Oh, on this, I am going to do some um, masking. So let me get some scotch tape here. I'm going to just mask off the letter A on our sentiment because it says wishing you A and I don't want the A. I probably could have just inked it up without getting the A on there, but I didn't want to chance it. Once you do that, remove your tape. Be sure you don't um, <laughs> stamp the tape onto your project. Make sure I get that straight. Oh, that is lovely. And now we have one more thing to stamp. So I'm going to move all of these pieces out of the way for a second. And we're going to open up our card base. Get me some scrap paper here. And we're going to stamp the little leaf image along the sides of our card base. I'm going to do tone on tone. Not pressing too good, I see. Okay, and then we're going to do it on this side as well. Oh man, did you see that? I went right off of my scrap paper. Okay, I can't remember how far I need to go in, so we're gonna put some more. Why isn't it stamping the whole leaf? Am I not pressing down right? Oh man, I end up stamping the whole front, <laughs> the entire card front. Okay, that's okay. It's gonna be cute, you guys. I did do some stamping ahead of time because I have another piece, an early espresso that is two and a half by five and a half. And um, I stamped it in early espresso on early espresso and I use this from the sweetest cherries this little matte looking so we're going to glue this on to our card base And we're going to try to get this centered right down the middle. Mm, somewhat in the middle. That's not too middle. Let me try to get that a little straighter here. Man. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. So now we're going to take this piece. Do I want it like this? Like that? Like that? I think I'll do it like that. I'm going to take this piece and adhere it down. 
right over that early espresso. Then we're gonna take our other piece. Do I wanna pop this one up? No, we're not gonna pop it up. We're gonna layer this one. And I'm not doing it centered. I just want a little bit at the top and I'm doing most of it at the bottom here. Oh man, it's not supposed to be centered that way either. <laughs> I forgot, let me do it about right there. Okay, so now I have another piece of um, Early Espresso. This one is seven eighths inches by um, three and five eighths. Cause did I tell you to, this is, um, three quarters by um, three and a half, the sentiment layer. So we're gonna layer these two together. And that's hard to see. It's hard to see on that mat. On my little desk mat here okay so we got that done Let me make sure I'm doing this right side up okay and we're gonna put this about right here so what I'm gonna do now is take the modern oval punch and we're gonna punch out our watermelon And then I'm gonna take a pair of scissors, my paper snips, and we're gonna fussy cut this. And it doesn't take long. It's a simple enough shape. I am adding in the um, Swedish Cherry stamp set. Oh my, I'm sorry if you can hear that car. I'm adding in the Swedish Cherry stamp set because the watercolor melon um, stamp set does not have any sentiments in it. So you have to find just some sentiments to go with this stamp set. Okay, we're almost done here. Just a little bit more. There we go. And we have that done. Close my scissors up so I won't poke anything. So now we just have to see how I want to layer. I want the spiral of the watermelon towards the top there. Okay, I think I can chop off a little bit of the end of this. It's a little long because most of that is gonna be hidden. I just don't want it to come out Yeah. Okay, so I'll pop this up on dimensionals. Oop. Let's get our dimensionals. Pop up our sentiment layer. Pulling off one of those edges. Oh, come on. Okay. And we're going to put this not quite to the edge, but almost to the edge of our card. Let me see. Try to get this straight here. Mm, it's pretty straight. And then we're going to pop up our melon. So I want to put one on both ends. I'm going to put two on both ends. Did you guys know I like me some dimensionals? Come off of me. And we're going to set this about right here. Like that. And then we're going to take this one. 
and pop that up. So I think I only need one right there. Nope, I'm gonna need two. We're gonna need two and some blue. Just a little glue at the top there. Pop that right there. And it says, wishing you sweet birthday, wishing you sweet birthday wishes. Okay. Now, the last thing we have to do is add some bling. And I have the neutral uh, adhesive back sequence to add some bling to this. And do I want to use the gold or the brown? I was going to use the brown. What should I do? I think I'm going to use the gold since the paper has gold on the other side. <laughs> like that matters. You can't see it. Oh my gosh. That's the silliest reason. But I think the gold stands out more. So there we have it. Here's our card. It's all finished. What do you think? I like this. Wishing you sweet birthday wishes. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.